on, this is a lot of work that I got on YouTube. A whole lot of work. Wow. I got a lot of stuff on YouTube. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Sonny Townsend. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Sonny Townsend. I'm sitting here looking at you no know, old stuff that I did on YouTube and stuff, you know. Sitting here thinking of how it all got started. It really got started with these right here. I remember these streetwire, the little news that I used to do. Streetwire to go around the hood interviewing people, you know, they got talent or whatever they got going on, even if you rapping or whatever. You know, I just try to expose people's talent all the time. That's what I always used to try to do from when I started. Then I, me and my buddy of mine got together and did Cuff DVD, where we interviewed dudes coming home from jail. You know, just to enlighten the youth on what happens to you when you go to prison, to make you don't want to go to prison. You know what I mean? Then we came out with the, the Broken Silence. You know what I mean? Another documentary. It's on YouTube. It came out with double digits. Same thing. This is about guys that did 10, you know, 10 years of better in jail. Then I did a little something called The Shit You Hate. Kind of comical, you know, funny. It's on YouTube also. Then I got a whole bunch of other stuff here on YouTube. Like Walk Through Brownsville. You know, gotta have 170,000 hits. You know what I mean? We've been getting busy. Me and Money, you know what I mean? I had Money helping me out on some things, you know what I mean? We've been getting busy. Got a lot of stuff here. But another thing a lot of y'all don't know about me, right? I worked a full-time job. I was working at the same time I was filming LIV. And I forgot to mention LIV. That was one of the big, you know, web series that we had. I forgot to mention L.I.V., but during the process of filming L.I.V., I was going through so much stuff, you know what I mean? My pops got sick, you know what I mean? He was on his deathbed. I didn't know he was on his deathbed, but I was taking care of him, you know what I mean? Working a full-time job, take care of him, and then I'm trying to film the spare little time I had and plus I had to get some sleep because I was the, the job I was working required me to get a certain amount of sleep. So, but I was hustling. I was just trying to make sure y'all had a good show. You know what I mean? Even though sometimes the actors ain't come out, you know, when they supposed to came out. You know what I mean? Maybe it could have been me. I ain't get there on time. Sometimes I got late because I had to do what I had to do. Take care of my pops. You know what I mean? Work and do other things like I go shopping for my pops, you know what I mean? Make sure the house clean, you know what I mean? I didn't want them landing, you know what I mean? Being in a filthy house. So took care of that. Then shortly after that, my mom's got sick too. My mom started getting, you know, little little pinches of uh, dementia. So she started getting sick too. So then it was really crazy on me. I had to take care of my pops, film a little bit, Go take care of my moms, go to the nurse home over there near Brookdale, take care of my moms. Then I'll come back to the hood, try to get some more footage, then go home, get some sleep. The next day I edit it up. And you know what I mean? No matter, even though I was going through all that, I still try to give y'all a good show. Now, if that wouldn't happen, if my parents wouldn't have got sick and I could really put my all into LIV. LIV would have been crazy. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? Everything happened for a reason, you know what I mean? Like you say, a lot of people say, maybe it wasn't God's plan. But I've always been hustling. And after doing all of this stuff here, and all the stuff on YouTube, still hustling wind up to come out with a book. I wrote a book called Sadie's Boys. This is a real good book. I get a lot I got a lot of reviews back from people that read it, said they couldn't put it down. 
You know what I mean? Say these boys. It's about a mother, a single mother losing her husband, trying to raise three boys in a bad neighborhood, Brownsville, Brooklyn. You gotta read it. It's a, it's crazy. It's about the three boys. One of them got a dark cloud over his head. You know what I mean? It's like trouble keeps following him. The other two, one of them was a wild brother, and one tried to stay. You know what I mean? Try to keep a mellow tone. Try to keep a you know straightforward type, a mellow type dude. But he kept got getting pulled into things with his by his little brothers. It's a real good story. Check it out. Say these boys. It's on Amazon. Peace and love. And to all the people that have been following me on all the stuff I used to do, one love to all y'all. And I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Peace and love.